What's up guys? It's your boy Mo and welcome back to the Mo Show. So today um, I have an informational video, uh, some tips and tricks on how to build a better physique. Uh, I always have people ask me like, dude, like, you have any advice, any tips? Like I want abs, I want this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to help you guys out with some tips that I've learned in just nine months of training. I don't know everything, I'm not an expert, but this is just what I've learned, what's helped me. Yeah. All right, so the first thing I would say is like if you want to build muscle, uh, I would say number one key is getting your protein in, uh, whether that's through like protein powder, like after a workout, um, whether that's like chicken, fish, um, like getting your protein. Protein is the main source to building muscle. If you're not eating protein, you're just taking in carbs, taking in sugars, and you're not taking in protein, you're not really going to build much muscle. Um, Number two, these aren't really in order. These are just like off the top of my head what I could think of. Um, number two, probably training. Um, so me, recently, uh, the past couple months, how long I train has been ranging from like two and a half to like three hours, which isn't necessarily good. Um, like you should, I feel like on average you should train from like an hour to an hour 30. But like now, now that I'm getting more experience, I'm wanting to add more workouts in. But um, if... You're working out for an hour, hour 30. Make sure you're hitting, you're hitting everything in your workout. So, for example, if you're, um, let's say you're hitting chest, uh, like make sure you're working the lower chest on like a decline bench. Make sure you're working the upper chest on the incline bench. Don't just focus on one side of like you know the muscle. Like just, like it, don't just flat bench. Change it up, incline. You know, because your body's gonna respond differently to different exercises. Um, What's the next thing? Um, oh yeah, okay. I used to be like this when I first started. I remember when I, when I like, like month one, I wanted to bench like a plate right away. And I was like, I'm like, I'm like, I just want to do it. My brother's telling me like, you're not strong enough yet. You can't do it just right away. You need to like, you need to build it up. So I would say, obviously if you're just getting into lifting, you know, try time under tension exercises, really controlling the weight instead of just throwing on heavy weight that you're not really focusing on the right muscle. Like if you're hitting uh, biceps and you're doing curls, make sure you get a weight that you can control the weight, feel the contraction, feel the stretch. Because if, you, if you're just starting out and you grab a 40 pound dumbbell and you try to curl it, you're really just gonna be swinging and you're not really gonna be feeling it in your bicep. Um, uh, I would, oh, for like building a physique, getting the pump, you know, I would say always try to stretch stretch um always try to like get blood pumping through that muscle that you're trying to get pre-exhaustion techniques like when i do chest um i always do like push-ups or uh I, I get like a bench a bench pad and i do push-ups against it to get um to get blood flow through my chest and that just helps with you know blood coming through my chest and my chest getting a really good pump when i hit bench um So we talked about you know protein intake, uh, time you should be in the gym, uh, hitting all the sides of the muscle when you're working out the muscle, um, you know pre-exhaustion techniques, uh, and I would say change it up like not, like it's cool to have like a like right now I run like the 1969 Arnold split with like a, a little mod moderation in legs, but like sometimes I'll try to change it up because sometimes maybe your body's just not. Maybe your body's just not feeling like what you're working on. Maybe you just gotta switch it up one day. Um, like maybe have one leg day because you know your your leg your legs are like a big muscle group and they need time to recover. Um, maybe switch it up, switch your routine, switch your workout split. You know, uh, you gotta find what works best for you. Everyone's different, you know. And um, another thing that I've always realized uh, when people talk to me, they're like, "Oh, Mo, oh, I started my cut or I started my diet," and they're like. They, they tell me what they're like doing and they cut out everything. They cut out sugar, carbs, and they just take protein. Uh, that's, I would say like, kind of like homeostasis, you gotta maintain levels of everything. Like you can't have too much sugar, but you can't have no sugar. You can't have too much carbs, but you can't have no carbs. You gotta have like in between, but like right now for me, I'm in a protein diet, so I have high protein intake. I try to get in like 180 to like 200 grams of protein a day just to build muscle, because I'm trying to gain weight, I'm trying to gain muscle, I'm trying to burn fat, gain muscle. 
So yeah, you guys, guys, this is bodybuilding, lifting, whatever, powerlifting. You know, you want to have fun. You want to change it up. You know, this is just like like it's like it's a pickup game of basketball. You want to have fun. You don't want to stress out. You don't want to. You know, this is supposed to be fun, um, enjoyable. You know, uh, it's not supposed to be stressing because if it's stressing, then it's not fun. You know. But um, yeah, that was just a couple tips from me and what I've learned. Um, I've only been lifting for nine months, but I continue to learn every single day. Uh, let me know what other videos you guys want to see. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Hopefully these guys can help, these tips can help you. Let me know if you guys need anything or have any other questions. If you guys are interested in using rice ups, uh, code Matala8810, M-A-T-T-A, L L A H A A ten at checkout. You get ten percent off, and you're supporting me. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next episode of Emotion.